Hello guys, yeah. welcome back to NFT Info. For today's video, we are going to show you how to fix Steel Series Apex Pro Mini not working. So if you're interested, let's get started. So there are going to be a few things that you can try here to fix your Steel Series here if it's not if it's not working. So first thing you want to do is you want to check for your in this case you want to check the physical connection. Now make sure the keyboard is properly plugged in. So in this case, make sure it's properly plugged in. You don't see any metal parts uh, being stick out. So in this case, just make sure it's properly plugged in. Now also try a different USB port to, to rule out a faulty connection and test the keyboard on another computer. Now if it works there, the issue is with your original computer settings or your USB ports. Next that you want to do is you might want to restart your computer. So sometimes a simple restart can uh, fix temporary software issues that might be affecting your keyboard. The next is you might want to update and reinstall the Se Se Steel Series GG software. So you just need to go to the uh, Steel Series GG software tunnel page, install the uh, install and open the software. Navigate to the engine tab and basically select Apex Pro Mini. Now check and crack any key bindings, lighting settings to make sure the, no keys are disabled. Next is, you might want to factory reset your keyboard here. So in this case, you want to go ahead and unplug your keyboard from your computer. Now you want to hold down the Steel, uh, Steel Series uh, key and the Escape key. So in this case, it's going to be this key and this key here. Now, from then on, while holding these keys, reconnect the keyboard on or to your computer. Then release the keys once the, you see the lights light start flashing, which confirms a successful reset. Now, next is you might want to update the keyboard firmware. So open the SteelSeries GG software, go to the engine tab here, select the Apex Pro Mini, and then check if the firmware update is available. Now you prompted, after the update the firmware and restart your computer. Next is you might want to reinstall your keyboard drivers. So in this case, how do you do that? So this one is pretty simple. So you want to go to your desktop or computer here, and you want to go to search, just type in device manager, and in here, you want to go open it up. Now, from here, you want to go to your um, keyboards. So in this case, just look for peripherals, uh, keyboards here. So you have keyboards, go ahead and expand that. And if you do see your keyboard, just right click on it, click on uninstall device. And once you've done that, go ahead and restart your PC. And once you restart your PC, that should actually reinstall the uh, driver of it again as long as it's properly connected into your PC but yeah so in this case um, if none of those work you might need to clean your keyboard especially if you're using it uh, quite a while now there might be some dirt underneath, uh, underneath the uh, keys that's why it's not working properly and and if that doesn't work you already cleaned it well most probably you need to contact the series support here in order for you to get this fixed but yeah so in this case that's about it so Hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.